Hello everyone and welcome to another video. <clears throat> Let's look at the expected value of Ark and Rising Unlimited. After the last video that I did about Welcome to RAF and seeing that the expected value dropped for 10 euros, I thought I was curious to see if Ark and Rising also dropped because they are pretty much linked together, right? I mean, there were 179,000 boxes of Ark and Rising ever made and then 248,000 of Welcome to Wrath. So the prices for this box, the price for this box is higher. That is totally normal. But um, they tend to be, you know, box prices, singles prices, they tend to have the same level. It doesn't too much depend on the meta or stuff. Anyways, there's 71 boxes on the market. Last time I've checked was six weeks ago. There were 75, so there is less now. The price though, now is at 147. The price back then was at 161. So yeah, cheaper price, but less available. That is odd. So that also tells me there could be lower single prices. We shall see. So the favorite is at 475, which is not too much lower than last time. The legendaries are, well, we have had a lead change for the first time ever. Teclo Foundry Heart is the most expensive one. These are card market low prices. 118 is what you pay for Teclo Foundry Heart. This does not include shipping. On the other hand, the most, ex the reason, I mean, the one that has been the most expensive Storms Riders went down from 120 to 103. So that's what it looks like today. Also, Grasp of the Arknight went down to 90. Arcanet Skull Cap to 69. And Skullbone Cross Rep down to 50. The average dropped from 93 to 86. So doesn't look too good for the expected value. Uh, if only one card out of six we have seen so far is going up in price. And then here's the other one that has been going up. Command and Conquer Foil 240, all time record, all time high. But the rest is pretty much going sideways. Yes, we have Teclo, Teclo Core, which went from 39 to 50. Has been higher though. Um, that's what it looks like. And the average is at 60. Last time we've checked, the average has been at 57. So. Command and Conquer and Teclocore brought this average up, but here again, the non-foils, yes, the average went down, everything is going sideways. Command and Conquer dropped from 80 back down to 74.50. That means we are through with these expensive cards and it doesn't look too good for the expected value. It does look for some people who want to pick up some cards, right? Because some of them have been going down in price. You can always see it two ways. E one, you don't have the card, you're happy when the price goes down so you can buy. Or on the other side, if you have it, you're happy if it goes up because, you know, value. Pursuit of Knowledge in Foil is at 15, um, Endless Arrows at 950, and then we have some huge gainers, Become the Arc Knight, Maximum Velocity, those went up by a lot. Also, Spark of Genius is the fifth most expensive super rare foil. And um, yeah, the average for the super rare foils is at 560. Here is the super rare non foils. By the way, if you want to buy any of these cards, I should have. I think I've sold out Induction Chamber, and that's the only one. All these Majestics, super rares, rares, I have all of them in stock. So check out my store, it's always linked under the description under the video in the description. Pursuit of Knowledge, non-foil dropped to 4, and plus arrow dropped to 330. Maximum Velocity is at 260, and then Spark of Genius and Induction Chamber, they are both at 150. Not too much going on with Super Rares for now. Here's the latest, the, la no, the latest. Here's the last cards we check for today. These are the common foils. No Room Graphs is at 9, Ravenous Rabbit is at 850, no Room Boots is at 720, Fate for Seen at 650, and No Room Boots dropped down to 5. 
that is I think in this time those cards are pretty much priced pretty good they're not too expensive they're not too cheap um, I think that looks good the expected value well per box on average you get 464 in value from the super rare non foils you get 560 from the super rare foils and then you also have some common foils and it heavily depends on if you pull one of those expensive ones but on average all the co the common foils added are 1163 and the fabled gives you 1188 so here is the cards that really drive up the value of those boxes Arkin Rising Unlimited, Majestic Rainbow Foil, those give you 18, 18 euros in value. The Legendary is only 21.50, so those dropped. And the Majestic Non Foils also went back down to 29.16. That all leads us to an expected value of 102.42. So, just like Welcome to Wrath, in May, April, May, June, July, the prices were <coughs> a little higher. You know after print run announcements and the meta shifts and there's so much happening um this still seems to be a <clears throat> a relatively stable high expected value even though it's not worth opening because a box does cost 151 and the expected value is 102 so losing almost 50 per box yes it is personal preference if you really really enjoy this then the cost of entertainment for 50 per box compared to card market low prices is um, relatively high so to me personally it won't be worth opening this I enjoyed my case opening number 100 which I did and I have let you guys vote and you wanted me to open Arkin Rising I just did that I knew I was losing value but it was fun so it is fun if you want to get every single card of the set unlimited in foil you pay 1643 that is everything from the favorite number 000 all the way back down to the very last card and then if you want the cheap option if you want well the fable and the legendaries those only exist in foil but the rest majestic downwards those exist in non-foil and you pay 1085 if you want each card in near mint from card market lowest prices not including shipping so that's just an, another another way to look at it another indicator and yeah it has been it is cheaper but it's not <clears throat> you know it's not quite as cheap as it has been when i started this in february and yeah that's it for today i am working on one more video which I'm gonna release this weekend um, there's going to be a live opening we are opening dust till dawn tomorrow evening so on Thursday at 7 p.m. German time we are opening dust till dawn and maybe another opening on the weekend but just thanks for watching thanks to my patrons just you know if you have time tomorrow evening at 7 it's always a nice a nice chat group of people there hanging out we're opening the re most recent product this one right here Arkin Rising it's still worth more than a hundred bucks every box so if you can if you if you find a good deal for 120 130 go ahead and grab it thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one bye oh by the way I had to record this video again because my microphone was muted last time I hope it worked now <laughs> bye